Hi, this video is to show you how to create announcements in Scissortail. So I've logged into the demo company as Kathy Watts, the uh, company administrator. And the easiest way to do this is to click on the hamburger and then type the first few letters of the word announcement in the quick search bar. And you'll get two options. The one we want to choose is the one under that has company settings, our company. That's where we're going to create an announcement. <clears throat> So you can see I have several uh, announcements that are listed out here that have been created. And if I wanted to clone one, I could do that or I could create a new one by clicking the Add New button. When we click Add New, we just have to um, set it up then. So we'll enter a headline. Um, today we want to let everyone know to um, do their electronic consent for their W-2. And so then we can say in the body where they're going to go to do this consent, um, etc. And so we'll type in the body of the information and then we'll make it active from, let's say, we'll make it from today through uh, the day that we're going to, let's say the day before we're going to create the W-2s. We can even do a countdown to that 128 date so that people will see how much time they have left to get this done. We can say days, hours, or minutes, um, and we can add it to the dashboard as an informational heading so that once they say no longer show the announcement pop-up, then it will be on their uh, heading. And here's where we choose to have it as a pop-up. Then we can say who we want to see it. Do we want just one particular security group to see it? Do we want the entire company to see it? We can say all company employees, and then we can save that. And when I log out and come back in as Kathy, we'll see our announcement pop up here. When she says, don't show me again, and closes the message, and then maybe she moves around her screen. She's all caught up. That's all there is.